So the father said to me, it's time for true reality in multidimensional living so you can fully enjoy the bliss of rest from your labors by learning to just be. Now, I could meditate and I did meditate on that for a lot of time and I still didn't get it. I didn't get what he was trying to say, um, but I never give up. I just treasure things in my heart. And I got the fact of, well, it will be blissful to be at rest. And I didn't quite understand what my labors of learning was, but I discovered that all the things I learned to do by engaging heaven were laboring to enter that rest of being, to just be. And the father went on, I have shielded you from the knowledge of just what you are as a non-linear, multi-dimensional being. Um, and that is important, you know, and because if I had known, I would have tried to do it or work out how I could do it. And that's not possible in my own strength. So he hid from me some of the knowledge of what I was doing from a non-linear, multidimensional way and what I was accomplishing in the spiritual realms by just giving you small glimpses. So he gave me small glimpses that gave me limited understanding that was beginning to expand my belief system, my consciousness to accept more that was coming. I will take the blinkers off your mind so your consciousness can expand to take in multidimensional reality so you can truly appreciate your capacity as a mature son of God. Now, I believe God can do this for all of us. This is the immortal quality of our lives. And God was trying to show me that I was not limited to what I could see or feel or operate in, in one dimensional way of thinking. So in that moment, and so this was a process, it didn't just happen in one go. So in the moment that God said that, I began to embrace my desire to encounter that. So in my meditating and embracing it, then in in a moment i became aware of who i was that happened to me as an experience built on all that god promised that was going to come that i treasured and i began to brood over it began to become pregnant in me and eventually it was brought to birth and that's the sort of process that god does in my life he says something i don't get it i meditate on it that begins to to grow it begins to form and eventually comes to birth. So what happened in that moment? Um, well, what happened is I began to become aware of what I'm doing at higher levels of consciousness in an expanded state of reality. Now that sounds all weird and a bit, you know, out there, but that's the only way I could describe it. My mind expanded to begin to perceive what I was capable of being in multiple places at multiple times doing multiple things so i wrote i am therefore i exist in manifoldness like my dad in non-linear quantum moments that are the fulfillment of my destiny now a quantum moment is a particle of time the smallest particle of time that can be every time and it's not a second and another second or a microsecond and it is within that moment all moments exist and therefore you can live from a perspective of expanded moments and we know i've given testimonies of contracting and expanding time and all of this stuff this was a way of being a way of thinking that embraced what this meant now i can't say i understood it all at the time but i began to get some experience of it and I began to realize that my capacity for understanding it was beginning to grow so that I was fulfilling my destiny in the spiritual realm and in the physical realm. But they were totally connected. And in those moments, I began to see all the things that I was doing. So I became aware of the amazing scope of who we are as sons of God, what we have capacity to become non-linear multi-dimensional beings unrestricted by the limitations of time and space i am within i am therefore i am in multiple places doing multiple simultaneous things now 
before my mind got deconstructed and I began to have the capacity to think non-linearly, and before I was engaging in the eternal now, which I couldn't do consciously to begin with, I could only go there in the spirit, eventually I could engage it consciously because my ability had expanded to be able to, in a sense, rest there without trying to figure it out. Because if I tried to figure out living in the eternal now, I would have probably gone crazy. But I didn't. I parked my understanding, I tried, my ability to try and understand or my desire to understand, and I just embraced experience. And that began to change and expand my thinking to be able to take in all that was would have been too much for me. God continued to say, you may not, no, no, actually, I'm saying this now. You may not understand all the terminology of what I'm going to share, but all the things that I speak of are places where I have encounters with the Father and the Son and the Spirit that were all linear. They happened in time, sometimes expanded time in a heavenly perspective, that sometimes hours here and met days and weeks there. But they all happened sequentially, one after the other. And I learned to function as a son in the realms of heaven, in all the places that I'm going to share. And this was, you know, 10 years of my life. And so it took time to learn all those things one after the other. And sharing my testimony of that journey is what the Engaging God program is all about which is there to help people go on their own journey to also discover who they are and express that as sons of God. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.